Hey, breaking news. This is a random message in the middle of the night and I thought about it because I was praying to God and he gave me a word and I think it will help you guys. Look, think about this. I am just a messenger of God's word. We all are. Everybody that is a follower of Jesus Christ is just somebody that is here to bring the message that God gave to us to everyone else so that you will be set free because the truth will set you free. If he set you free, really set you free, you are mind blown, just like me, right? I used to be caught in sin, fell into a pit of despair. The truth of the gospel illuminated the dark room I was living in and now I have a way out. Once you find the way out, you are mind blown. You thank the Lord so much because you were once dead to your sin, but now you're made alive. So. My battery's gonna die, so I gotta say this quickly. We are all people that are here proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ that saved us from our sin, right? And the reason why I wanted to say this is because sometimes we get in the mindset of like, oh my gosh, my past, I did all these things, I'm so ashamed. No, that's the devil talking to you. Never, ever, ever get into that mindset of ruminating on your past. I've definitely got into it, but it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. That's what the devil wants. You to keep thinking about your past. And guess what the, the Lord says? In the word of God, it says, do not, do not do this. Paul, clearly in Philippians 3.13, he says, what does he do? He forgets his past and he presses on and looks to the future and what the Lord Jesus Christ has called him heavenward for. We have been put here. And it's also that other verse too. They go hand in hand. We don't look to our current struggles, right? The past struggles. We look to the future glory. What's the one verse? It says, our current struggles aren't even worth comparing to the future glory that, we, that will be revealed to us. Not even worth it, okay? So those two verses will go hand in hand. Don't think about your past, because what are you doing worrying? And I'm speaking to myself too. This is why I'm so hyped, because I was able to free myself through the truth. Why am I even worrying? Oh my gosh, in the past, if I didn't do this, life would be, no, no, no. Don't think about what life would have been like if you didn't do this. It's part of your story. God needed to, to put you through this. He allowed you to go through this. You didn't die, but you went through this and you got chiseled a, a little bit. And, and these things broke off of you. Now you're being set free from things that maybe your pride or all these things that you had. Okay? Life isn't perfect because we got to be chiseled into the warrior that we must be in order to inherit the kingdom of the Lord. So what I'm saying, don't ruminate on the things that happened in the past. Look to the future glory. Oh my gosh. We're going to be in heaven with the Lord forever. There will be no more tears, no more crying, no more anything. All joy all the time. So when we look at that and our mind is focused on that, which God always says, so many metaphors in the Bible. Remember, walking on the water, focus on the Lord, don't focus on all the waves. And if you focus on the Lord, you'll be walking on water. It's a miracle. Your life will be a miracle if you focus on the Lord. Don't look at all the waves and fall down back into your sins and all these, oh man, it's so difficult in my past. No, 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 don't get that. Forget what is behind, press on towards what is ahead. Don't compare your current sufferings with what you're going to have when you get out of this life which is a good thing, right? As a Christian, we look forward to the day when we get old and we pass away and we go to heaven, right? It gives us hope. We have hope in the future. It's a great thing, okay? So don't, this is the whole message. It's for me and for you. Don't ruminate on your past sins. This is part of your story. Honestly, thank God for them. Say, thank you, the Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you put me through these things. You got me through these things. You taught me something through these things and you broke off some of my pride and all of these things that I needed to break off and that you set me free from them. And now that I'm looking to the future glory, I can have joy and I can preach about the Lord Jesus Christ in a way that will bring you glory, not me. That's another thing too that I've learned when I'm speaking about Jesus. I am happy now that I can boast in my weakness and I can boast in Christ. Because before when I would preach, not preach, but before when I would talk to my friends, I remember when I was younger, it was like, I didn't, there wasn't many things in my life that I had done wrong in a way where I was like ashamed, right? So I was almost preaching from like a Pharisee level of like, oh yeah, you just follow the Bible and everything will be perfect. You know, you, you'll never sin. Not that naive, but a pretty naive. But now I'm like, man, dude, I've gone through some rough times because I've fallen into sin that I never thought I would fall into. I've, I've done things that I never thought I would fall into. So like my pride is... Is, has been lowered, and, I, and it's a great thing because what the enemy meant for evil, God turns to good, and now I can minister to people and say, look, man, I've done these things. Yes, I've done all these things. 
that the world looks at as terrible and horrible. In reality, we all are sinful and fall short of the glory of God. Literally everybody falls short of the glory of God. And also you have to remember this. You're never going to be righteous enough on your own to make it to heaven. That's another great thing about realizing that you're a sinner. Because some people try to make, they're like, oh, I did these good things. I didn't sin for 10 days. I didn't sin for 10 years. I didn't sin for 50 years. That's why I'm going to go to heaven. No, Christ is your righteousness. The reason you go to heaven is because you believe in Jesus. And this is you, all sinful, right? The reason why you go to heaven is because God looks at you and he sees Christ if you believe in him. And Christ covers all your sin. Christ is your righteousness. Not you. Not you. Connor, I'm speaking to myself. I'm hyped because the truth really sets you free. And if this message sets you free a little bit, praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ because right now he's speaking through me. How? Because I read his word and I'm just regurgitating his word. This is nothing from me. It's literally, I'm hyped because the truth has set me free. I was reading on my iPhone, the Bible app. Read more of the Bible, you will be set free. That is the message. That is the message of the day. And yes, remember that. Christ is your righteousness. Nothing you do will ever get you there. Christ is the reason that you are saved. Put on his righteousness and you'll be saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. Thank you for watching. Hope that message hit home. Boom, baby, let's go. Keep reading. The truth will set you free.